beginning of the bounce bag. And let me just tell you, it is a must see. I laugh, I cry. I felt like love is everything. And that's what you should do. You should watch this movie. Hello, my name is Selena Hill. I'm a journalist from Black in a Pride. Okay. Congratulations to you guys. The chemistry was dynamic. And oh. I really, really appreciated the psychology. I always love an entertaining movie when I can learn something. So I'm like, ooh, yeah, like I'm applying things that you guys were talking about, so I really appreciate that. I appreciate a film that, you know, does this research and has something to really offer its audience. Um, so, um, Ms. Prima took my question, but the, the other question I was going to ask is... You want the is, film too? Yeah, I don't know what the film was. Oh, your name. What's going on? <laughs> no, I really want to so I mean, we can just leave it ambiguous. Um, yeah, it was like a Xanax. It was a Xanax. It was a Xanax. Oh! Yeah, it's a sleeping pill. That's why she blacked out. Okay. And can you, can you just talk more about, um, you know, just going the independent route? You know, we see a lot of black filmmakers and people in independent media, like myself, because I do independent projects on the side. And would you say that your passion project just came from um, a, a space of just, you know, hearing too many no's or too many negatives? And that's what really fueled it to, you know, to get to this part? Or is it something that you knew you always wanted to do uh, via independent? Um, <laughs> the answer is, you hit it on the head. Um, you tell me no, I say watch this if I have it within my power. And, but I had to create that, that power, that platform to have power. I've been very blessed, as we all have, too, and I won't speak for them, but I'm going to guess. But this is my opinion about the game that we play, the business that we're in. We're ble very blessed to do what we do. You know, she's, she's done great television shows. She's worked with one of the best in the game, uh, Denzel Washington. Uh, Bill, I mean, he's, he's, come on, he's, he's done How to Be a Player. You know, we know any given Sunday, you know, he's done so much stuff. But a lot of the time, and, and, we, and sometimes we fall in love with our characters, and we all try to put a little piece of ourselves in our characters, but what happens, but in my opinion, a lot, a lot of times we're a puppet, to meaning to where we're doing somebody else's dance, we're saying somebody else's words. As great as those words are, as much as we want to do, we don't really have to say. Our job is to memorize the words, to be directed, give the producers what they want, what they do. So what I, what I find very liberating in being told no about the bounce back, or we'll get back to you, or let's we'll check our schedule. We'll shave it. We'll shelve it until next go around next season. And I literally sat in my driveway, and I knew I had access to friend, very talented friends. I knew I had access to a production company, uh, not for, not a production company, production director, a crew, and all I needed was money. And nobody wanted to give the money because they didn't want to take a chance on me. Because maybe yeah, people know who I am, but only at the network TV level, but not at the film level, because Hollywood does not care about, the first thing, first and only thing they care about is money, and if they can put people in the seats. And so unless you're a proven Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, and all that other stuff, so to answer your question, I got tired of getting told no, and I believed in me, I believed in my talent, I knew I had access to friends, I liked the script, and I believed in my fan base. Or Shamar, you actually always play the sexy, you know, the sex symbol, you know, the guy who always gets all the girls, you know, it's just easy for you. Um, <laughs> in, in, in this movie, you were willing to get hit by a car. To, um, to, you did get hit by a car to keep your girl. I ain't doing that shit in real life. <laughs> <laughs> how okay. far would my thing is, how far would you actually go I'll, from I'm going to at least jump out the way. I mean, I'm, I'm not just going to stand and take it. I mean, yeah. Hey, I mean, no. <laughs> yeah. Right, go ahead. I, go ahead. So, I go how, how far would you really go for, have you really went, like, over, over top for one special woman? Well, first of all, um, Diary of a Mad Black Woman, I got the girl. This movie, I got the girl. But on Young and the Restless, outside of drugging my brother's wife, and Criminal Minds in, in season 11, I'm the most sexually deprived character on television. So you might have thought I was getting the girl, but I was at home solo. You know what I mean? But um, no, to answer your question, um, it, it's, it, 
I, I always get the girl, you know, no, I, I, I like telling stories and, and, you know, I've had a blessed 23 year career from Young and the Restless and the Brothers, and, yeah, you know, and then the Brothers, you know, and the Brothers, the brothers my chick was crazy. Oh, yeah. Shot up the whole house and all yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She shot up his house. Bill's house, yeah. Um, no, I mean, you know, look, it, it's fun to get the girl, but it, as long as it's, it's, for me, it's not about, oh, I need to be in the movie to get the girl. I just, I want to tell stories. And so, you know, if it's a romantic comedy, you know, Criminal Minds is pretty pretty dark and all that stuff. And, and, and that wasn't about me getting a girl. That was that was a really dark world of serial criminals and murder and all that. And I was very grateful for that coming off the soap opera, um, just to be able to show that I have a serious side and that I can handle, you know, dark, heavy drama and all that. I, mean, I got to carry a gun and be an FBI agent. So, you know, to go from the soap opera, you know, the soap opera stigma, you know, taking my shirt off and yeah. chasing into drugging my brother's wife and to be able to play a cop. You know, but there's there's levels to me, and I'm going to continue to unveil more and more levels. That, that's a lot of what this transition is about. And it's, it's a, this is the bounce back. This isn't the end all the be all for any of us. You know, we've all been doing this thing for a long time, and we hope to do this for another thirty some years. Yes. And then this is just this is just another just another color I want to show you. And what's wonderful is I'm learning how to have control, uh, how to have a say in controlling what I get to put out there for you. And that goes for all of us. Right.